I must warn you of the danger threatening to consume the entire world. Someone plots to lure you into a disastrous fate. Confronted by this evil will, your own cries out. Let's do this! Look out! We've got it coming! Showtime! Leave it to me! Go down! Sudden personality shifts, abnormal behavior, psychotic breakdowns. Doesn't this sound like the work of the Phantom Thieves? It's empty! Find them! It's only a matter of time before you are arrested. To catch the true perpetrator, I need your help. With the metaverse involved, we're the only people who can stop this. As long as there are people in trouble out there, we won't turn our backs on them. So now's your time to shine. I'll give it my all! It's been a while since I did a review of a video game. The game we're serving to talk about is Persona 5 Strikers, P5S. P5S is a sequel to the Smash It Persona 5 2016, P5. This isn't a direct sequel to Persona 5 Royal, P5R, which released in 2019. Therefore, did Strikers succeed? Let's talk about it now. Note. Strikers are a direct sequel to P5 2016 only. Quick summary, Strikers take place 6 months after the initial game. We instantly follow our lead protagonist Joker, Ren Amamiya, and his faithful sidekick a talking cat named Morgana. They travel back to Tokyo on summer break. Joker joyfully reunites with dear friends the Phantom Thieves. At the same time, there's an unknown evil force ready to attack our mythical heroes and the world itself. Good. One the progression, Strikers plot moves much faster than the original game plot. In Strikers, you'll arrive frequently get many things done in a span of 2 hours of gameplay. Strikers take about 35 to 50 hours to complete it. Then compare Strikers campaign to Persona 5 campaign which is 80 to 100 hours long. I love Persona 5 and Royal, but the progression in those games is brutal, to say the least. 2 Graphics, I'm not a person who likes graphics over gameplay. However, Strikers graphics are naturally excellent, every location has its own different color palette. The jails are the action levels you fight the monsters in. Each jail is tailor-made close to the main boss's personality. Their mental state of a boss narrates a compelling story on why the boss is corrupted. 3. The bosses, there are many boss fights, and they don't play out the same way. However, confronting the boss is only half of the story. We go inside the boss's mental state and the trauma that made them corrupt. The trauma side stands as my personal favorite. The bosses you confront aren't born evil, but they are broken which leads to grief and depression. The game talks about a series of social issues ranging from bullying to child abuse. It holds no punches no pun intended. Everybody is escaping the pain of the past, sadly, their past controls them. For the characters, Joker is the silent hero played by the game. Joker is the embodiment of the audience trying to comprehend the world of Persona. Joker represents an impressive character because Joker's text dialogue communicates the idea of Joker doesn't back down to any antagonists. Joker's friends the Phantom Thieves are enjoyable to interact with. However, in combat, each member is unique from the other. The Phantom Thieves members all together have various fighting styles and skill sets. The group feels like an eccentric misfit family. 
the friendship of the Phantom Thieves feels natural. 5. The combat, strikers are an action RPG. It's a clever hack and slash game. You have to think and plan out your attacks. Gathering the proper gear, healing items, and identifying the exact characters for each jail level. Completely smashing the button won't help considerably later in the game. In the final boss fight, you must plan out your attacks or die faster. In the initial game is a turn-based system, but I privately feel the high pace action is more enjoyable to me. The gameplay, in general, isn't hard, but you won't obtain the full benefit of the game's combat. The last boss fight is indeed better than the original and Royal's final boss fights. 6. The music, Persona 5 music is god tier material. Strikers music it is altered, but in sick remix version. The remixing Persona 5 theme with its upbeat rock theme. A match made in heaven for your ears. Describing how a song establishes itself depends on the individuals. However, believe me when I say. Persona 5 and Royal music is straight fire. Therefore, strikers include more fuel to the fire. Bad. One made for the fans, okay, the most significant strength and weakness. I didn't talk in detail about the specific game's practical mechanics and content. Most of the unique features are inextricably tied to the extensive knowledge of the initial game. Strikers don't explain and or willingly gives modern players coherent pictures they can instantly grasp onto. There are unknown characters for the Phantom Thieves, but it's rigid to talk about because. You must have engaged in the initial game to comprehend why new the characters are excellent. Omega Force and P Studio both game studios by heart are adoring fans of Persona. 2 They collaboratively developed a solid sequel. However, placing all your focus to stay faithful to the initial game. You'll forget about unknown players who never played Persona 5. 3 The UI and overwhelming first act, the user interfaces or simply UI. You'll become overwhelmed by some much text bar, health bar, skills, and so on. This problem shows up in the first act of the game. You might get puzzled in your fight at a jail level. It does get better over time, but the task wasn't there for easy. Therefore, I recommend playing the game on easy mode. It might aid you to comprehend what's going on. Deplorably, the game's content could overwhelm the player. Once more, this happens in the first act of the game. 4. Fighting the camera, I played P5S for 50 hours plus. My most generous enemy wasn't bosses, but the game's camera. In heavy duty fights, the camera doesn't point to the target you want to hit. You'll manually have to fix the camera on the right path. The lock on feature is one dimensional at best. Striker doesn't have a dedicated auto lock system. Auto lock might have aided me in crazy boss fights. Moreover, the camera will get stuck if your character into snug corners. Vaster levels fall prey to this a lot. Score, P5 fans equals low full price slash average gamer equals matinee. Summary, Persona 5 Strikers is a seriously worthy sequel to the original. The fans will enjoy a remarkable time playing around with the Phantom Thieves again. The modern characters added to the mix are a nice addition. The gameplay is simple to play, but fun to master. However, purely producing a game dedicated to the fans. You hurt the game's longevity. By making the game inaccessible to unknown players. I wouldn't recommend this game for unknown players if they like video game stories. Therefore, Strikers is an outstanding sequel for Persona 5 IP. Some fans might be alienated the game isn't turn base, but give the action RPG a chance for a second. Persona 5 Strikers is available on PS4 slash PS5, Nintendo Switch and PC. All I wanted to be was a hero. I saw my life's path ahead of me. Itching. Would you be willing to get arrested for the family? <laughs> Reputation is everything. If a Yakuza shows weakness, he's done. Hit it, hit it, hit it. I've been waiting to open this door for 18 years.
Here comes the hot step up. The dream is what keeps you going. So I see you do it. Just like you want it. Become a hero. Let's start a brand new age of heroes. Well, this just got complicated. No, no, we don't die. Yes, we must reply. Always attract the weirdos. Time to go! You sure know how to make an entrance. You can tell us what the hell is going on here. Get this man a diaper. Huh? All of us here are a little crazy, but that's the best part of being friends. Let's get nutty! This is my first Yakuza game from the series. Yakuza 7 or Like a Dragon represent the contusion of the cult series Yakuza. Like a Dragon is a turn-based RPG than an action RPG like past games. Yes, this review is spoiler free for the most part. Quick summary, in Like a Dragon the story follows an ex-Yakuza member Ichiban Kajiga. Shot and left for dead, by his own boss. Kajiga tries to rebuild his life but stumbles on a massive conspiracy that will reshape everything Kajiga knows about Yakuza. Good. 1. The game is wacky and insanely silly from the start. Yes, the game does have dark moments, but you'll run into silliness right after that. If you like Jojo and or the One Punch Man series. This game borrows a lot of elements from the two IPS. However, the game's crazy nature never gets old personally. The characters and the events that take place make the advent very rememberable. 2. Ichiban Kajiga played by Kazuhiro Nakea, JP, and Kaji Tang, N. Kajiga is basically Gaku. Kajiga is stupid with a heart of gold and a super strong fighter. Almost every character roast Kajiga on his dumbness. Oddly enough, Kajiga is very proud of it. Kajiga will get serious over protecting his friends and his loved ones. Kajig is all business once he fights a major boss character. 3. The supporting cast related to the main plot is done nicely. The characters have their own goals and cool backstories. It comes off very predictable to an outright silly outcome. Again, the humor makes the characters like party members unique. The voice acting from party members and third party characters are very good. 4. The turn-based RPG is more flushed than other RPG games that are turn-based. Kajig and his party all play differently from one another. The job system turns our characters into a break dancer, chef, musicians, and much more. The game encourages you to find your own playstyle and take risks. 5. There's a lot of mini games that will keep you playing like a dragon for hours on end. We got golfing baseball, kart racing. The fun doesn't end there with tower raid missions, just to name a few. Bad. 1. There are a couple of chapters like 1 to 5 likes hand holding the players. The first playthrough understandable, but on a new game plus. You'll tire of the hand holding on hard mode. At times the game doesn't want you going off the grid to do your own thing. 2. The gameplay does feel outdated in times. For example, you'll have social stats you have to level up to get X job in the game. However, this task becomes extremely annoying and turns the mini games into a tiresome chore. For some unknown reason, the unusual difficulty will spike up on the mini games. The go-kart racing you'll merely notice frequently BS moments and the mechanic isn't polished well enough. 3. The game's audio is very unreliable at odd times. You can't turn down and or turn up any audio within the game. You can control the volume of the game for your game controller only. 
The audio doesn't drown out the voice actors, but it's deaf at times whenever you take part in turn-based combat. If you do have music and or background music whenever the voice actors speak. The actors sound like they're underwater sometimes. Overall, full price. Like a Dragon isn't perfect with inconstant audio, some with outdated gameplay, and annoying hand-holding chapters. I love engaging in this game. Like a Dragon is funny, but it can however narrate a mature story. Ichiban Kajiga represents a moron, but very likable to me. The supporting cast and third-party characters help flush out this modern world even more. Kajiga and his party members absolutely play differently, and the jobs you can approach naturally make the classic gameplay a little interesting. Along with many games you can play at your elegant leisure. The satisfactory ending to the game positively has a nice final act that covers most of the plot points in the game. You don't have to be a long-time Yakuza fan to enjoy this memorable game.